Hi guys, it's Michael here, one of the kickboxing coaches over at Gym01. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to make a reaction ball headband. Right, so you see, um, see online quite a lot at the moment, a lot of people with the headbands and you've got a bit of elastic and like a, almost like a tennis ball at the end of it. And it's really good for drilling your reactions and your punching accuracy. And yeah, we're going to be going through that today, all right? And it should be free if you have all the materials. Enjoy. Okay, so first of all, I just want to make it clear that you should not be doing this without adult supervision, okay? And if you are an, are an adult doing it, make sure you're careful, right? Don't be stupid. Don't uh, jam a knife through your hand or anything like that. So what you'll need today, you'll need one sharp knife, you'll need one blunt knife, like so. Uh, so for example, a butter knife would be awesome because that is super blunt and it's thin enough to push the elastic through. But uh, a standard knife will do as well. Uh, you will also need a tennis ball. You will need an old hat or a current hat that you're happy to use, anything with a little back at the back. And you will also need some elastic, okay? So if you don't actually have any elastic, uh, I'm not saying go rip out from your brand new uh, pair of shorts or anything like that, but if you do have any old shorts, trackies, anything like that with an elastic waistband, Please feel free, if you're going to get rid of it anyway, just rip the elastic out of it uh, and you can use that. But if you do have any odd elastic lying around or you seam stresses out there, uh, use that. That'll be much better. So, first of all, right, so we've got the tennis ball. Here's one I made earlier. Um, <laughs> so we've got the tennis ball. Uh, and what you want to do, you want to make a small incision, very fancy, small uh, cut into the tennis ball with your sharper knife, so just a small one. So you hold it on a firm surface, you're just going to poke the knife in until there is a little gap and it's split a tiny little bit. From there, you will then need your piece of elastic. And you also need your more blunt knife. Okay, so once you've done that, you'll need to tie a knot in the elastic, right? So I'll just show you here, so nice straight. What you want to do, you want to get it into a loop. Then you're going to circle it round, poke it through the hole, and thread through and tighten. So you want a little bit here, right? Just so it's poking out. And just to make it a little bit bigger, I'll just go around with it again. Come around on the same spot, doing exactly the same thing, then making sure it's on the same knot here. I'll then pull it in and I'll tighten it, okay? Once I've done that, what I will do with the blunt knife now, with the blunt knife, what I'll do, I'll pop the uh, elastic just on the end of it here, all right? So I just pop it on the end so it's covering it almost like a little hat. So from there, what I'll then do, I'll then, on the tennis ball, I'll start pushing that through the hole that we've already made, right? So it should only be a little hole. The butter knife or the slightly more blunt knife will just make that a little bit bigger and will allow you to push that knot through, um, which is on the elastic, push that through into the tennis ball. So it will give you a result like this. So from here, that's not going anywhere. So that knot in there, where you uh, squeeze it through, that knot is just stopping that coming off. So now what you will need, you'll need a hat. And nice and simply from that hat, all you're gonna do, you're just gonna tie the elastic round the back here, okay? So you don't have to do anything fancy. You're just going to tie it around, make a knot, or you can trap it in, whatever you want to do with it, as long as it ties around onto the back. Okay, and that is nice and simple, your reaction ball with the hat. Now I'm going to show you it in action. <laughs> 